All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today, I am vacuum sealing. I am vacuum sealing like there is no tomorrow. Please start getting some food back, guys. You need to have food on hand. Now, we went to the store. We bought 30 pounds of rice. Now, each serving size of rice is a quarter cup. We store one cup each in each one of these bags. We have nearly 80 bags right now. Um, now... With the nutrition information, you get about 640 calories per cup. It's a lot of food. All right, now, with rice, this rice alone is not a uh, complete meal. You need to add beans, whatever you can, to add to it. 30 bucks, but over 70 cups of food. 70 cups of rice. That's a lot of meals, guys. For two people... This bag of beans, that's a cup of beans, two people, that's a meal. Alright, that is a nutritious meal. If you don't like beans, you can add other stuff in it. Now I've shown the beef cubes, okay? These right here. These help change the flavor of your rice because rice just doesn't have any flavor. It's very bland. They have beef, chicken. These things are great. I like having these things on hand just to change the blank taste of rice. Now, also, you don't want to just eat rice and beans. Okay, we can mix it up. I've shown this brand of chili. This wolf. Chili and rice. Boom, there's your meal right there. All right, a can of chili. 660 calories per container. Per cup. 390 calories. Serving size is one can. Right here, that is nearly 1,300 calories. There's 640, 660. That's actually 1,300 calories right there. That meal right there is 1,300 calories. You want a 2,000 calorie diet a day? Boom. Now, two people are eating on this, so you divide it by two. But that's one meal, 1,300 calories. Another one, chicken and rice. All right, we've shown this brand of chicken before. This is a Walmart brand. Uh, calories, 45 calories per serving. you got four servings. So let's roughly let's just do 40. That's um, 160 calories, 640 160, 640, 800 calorie meal. Two people, that's 400 calories. One person, that's a lot of rice to eat for one person. Once you cook up a cup of, a cup of rice, that's a lot of rice. But for two people eating, 400 a piece, not bad. Also, with rice, mix it up. Mix rice in with your corn, with your green beans. Mix it all together. Cook your rice first. Cook up your beans. Cook up your corn. Mix it all together. All right. So these are low calories. 60, 20. But you're adding it to other foods. That's why rice is so great to have. I mean, guys, this is just simple preparation. All right. Rice and beans are your basic preps. Everyone does rice and beans. You can do so much with rice. These are Amazon vacuum sealed food saver bags these things last a very long time i've been using these for a very long time i mean actually part of my lifestyle so you can get the mylar bags if you want to hey good for you it's just more expensive are mylar bags better yes mylar bags are better of course i'm not going to deny that but these things work great though when an auction is over vacuum seal them they're good for years a vacuum sealer i think i paid 30 bucks 26 dollars whatever it was on amazon when i first bought this we have bought extra ones of these in case this one ever burn out. I bought these $70, $80 vacuum sealers before, and they fry after a year. This one here is still going strong. This is a cheap start. This is something you need to do. $30 bucks bought all this. Well, actually, it was $33 and change. Bought all this rice. Over 70 cups of rice. It's a lot of food. $30. Bucks. I hear, well, I, I, I just don't have the money to start prepping. Start putting $5 back each week. $5 back a week. A 20-pound bag of rice runs me right at $11 and a little bit of change for a 20-pound bag of rice. 
a serving size is quarter cup we're putting cup sizes in this the reason why guys is it makes it easier for us to plan out our meals you want to sit down and start breaking down your cal caloric intake on your meal you want to push for 2,000 calories some say more it just depends on what you are planning to have to do during shtf all right so for this meal we got one cup of rice sealed up now this also makes it easier if we ever decide to trade and barter all right we bury a lot of our food we hide a lot of our food so if i got to go somewhere to get food and i'm only caught with this instead of a five pound buck a five gallon bucket loaded down with rice I lost one meal. I didn't lose the whole five gallon bucket. Six inches below frost level. Now if you remember, we did an example of this with uh, some buckets showing y'all six inch inches and how quick water starts filling up down here in Florida. So all we had to do was get down six inches as a matter of fact, we just hit one of the tops of our survival buckets right there. I'm going to bring the camera in here to show you all this. Now with food, guys, food is priority. You need to have food to protect your family. Yes, I know everybody wants to get on board with the bang bangs. What's the new round? What's the new bang bang? Whatever. Okay, that is part of preparing. Defense is a part of preparation. Food is priority. Water is priority. This video is not about water. This is about putting food back, feeding your family. You control the food. You control what goes on. Now, with a lot of stuff we're seeing on YouTube, everybody getting rallied up. we got to do something. Get organized. It's coming. Hey, we're preppers. We've known shit hit the fan. It's coming. That's why we prep. Do not allow yourself to get too wrapped up with this going on and that going on. Do you need to keep your ear to the ground and keep aware of what's going on? Absolutely. But don't forget to start prepping. Do not let up on this. You're going to need food. The economy is not coming back. The economy is not going to be the way it was 20 years ago. This country is going to change and it's going to change very rapidly get food put back this stuff lasts for years now i've always said get a year supply to you two year supply of normal foods that's your rice beans canned goods pastas all that stuff when this stuff is vacuum sealed it lasts a lot longer now will rice last a long time in the original package yes it will but when you vacuum seal you're adding protection it keeps it safe from moisture keeps it safe from air keeps it safe from bugs if you ever get bugs inside your rice, little weevils, well, mine don't have it because we freeze ours first, then we dry it out, then we vacuum seal. If you get weevils, boil it up. Weevils are, weevils are not going to kill you. All rice that comes has weevil eggs in it. Hate to break it to you. All rice, raw rice that you got to cook, has the eggs in it. Now, if you freeze these and then thaw it out, and then vacuum seal it once it's all dried out. You're good. You killed off the eggs. If I found a packet that had weevils, I wouldn't throw it out. I'd eat it. Boil it up. Skim the top of it off. Those weevils will float to the top. Skim it off if you don't want to. Hey, weevils contain protein. Not that much protein. Everyone makes a joke about it. But it's still, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. Do not allow yourself to be caught with your pants down. Keep prepping. This is the cheapest, most effective way to prep. Rice, beans, some canned goods to change the flavor and add more calories, whatever. It's the cheapest way to go. They even sell rice in one pound bags. If that's where you got to start, then start there. $5 a week. Well, $5 a week doesn't buy me 20 pounds of rice, CFP. That's okay. Take that $5. Next week, go buy your 20 pound bag of rice. Or whatever the price is. Save up for it. Then get it. You do not want to become one of those people that has to eat their dogs. You do not want to become one of those people that has to do horrible things to feed your family. Sure, you might have a bang bang stick. Are you willing to go use it? To take something from somebody else. 
when you've had the opportunity right now to start putting food back. All right, guys. So I'm not trying to be heated. I just always push get food first before anything else. Get food put back. Get your water filters. I've shown the cheaper water filters. They work great. Way that, that way you can filter out water. A lot of water, you collect rainwater, boil it. There you go. You can boil rainwater. Food is important. Get food put back. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all later. Right fast, guys. I would like to talk about one of our affiliate programs here on the channel. The best way to protect your family is being prepared. Not only is Legacy Premium the best value in food storage, but it is also the best tasting and most nutritious. Up to a 25 year shelf life and free shipping on all orders, Legacy Food is a go-to for long-term emergency foods. Not only are we affiliated with Legacy Food Storage, we actually use them for our emergency long-term food preps. Legacy Food has the lowest cost per pound, voted the best tasting, a 25 year shelf life, non-GMO, gluten-free options, and yes, it's made here in the USA. So guys, if you wanna help support the channel and support yourself with long-term food storage, check out our affiliate links in the description.